My name is Libor Kovarik. I'm a research scientist here in EMSA. I'm in the Interfacial Science and Simulation Group, and I'm a custodian for this uh, Environmental Transmission Electron Microscope. It uses high energy electrons to image and analyze materials down to atomic level. We can look at different kinds of samples, including biological samples, soil minerals, aerosol materials, and catalytic and battery materials. The unique feature of this instrument is that it allows us to study our samples under well-defined environmental conditions. Unlike conventional transmission electron microscopes that uh, are operated under high vacuum, we can control the environment around the sample and uh, probe the properties under relevant uh, conditions. This instrument enables uh, to advance users' research by imaging and resolving the microstructure of the samples down to atomic level. It can do it not only under static condition, but during exposure to ex external stimuli, stimuli such as uh, gas and elevated temperature. So one of the unique uh, devices is the gas control unit. It allows us to deliver gases under well-defined conditions, under constant pressure and a constant flow, which is critical for high resolution imaging under in-situ conditions. We also have a several unique holders that allows us to control the conditions during the in-situ imaging. We have our cryogenic holders, we have our high temperature holders, we have biasing holders, we have tomography holders and several other holders. One of the recent projects uh, that we, we work on is uh, we, we looked at uh, soil organic nanoparticles and the question that we are trying to address is what is the thermal stability of these nanoparticles? So, and we could quantify the thermal stability under different environmental conditions and uh, all the way to very high uh, temperature exposure. It's often the case that the data that we obtain from ETEM have to be complemented with results from other techniques such as MOSBAR spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction or XPS to gain complete understanding of the material's behavior. 